those of you who are doing your last minute holiday shopping over Craigslist, the Cherry Hill Police Department have created safe transaction zones to make your holiday shopping safer. Uh, I talked to the Chief of Police, William uh, Mollahan, and I asked him, you know, why did y'all decide to do this? We imp implemented them approximately about a month ago. Uh, we went live with the program, and the reason being is we're progressing into the holiday season. We have a large retail base in town, and there's also a large component that we know of online transactions that take place. And we just felt that it was an opportunity to provide another layer of security for residents. The famous Craigslist has been around for 20 years. Uh, it allows uh, users to post free and paid classified ads, selling and buying uh, from other users. You can also catch a date on there as well. I'm not sure if anybody did it. I don't suggest <laughs> it. Um, the Cherry Hill Police Department has uh, two safe zone areas. One is outside of the police department, um, which is more or less for larger items such as cars, ATVs, and things like that. Yeah. Also, they have one inside the building as well uh, for uh, smaller items such as an iPhone. It's within walking distance or shouting distance to the police bullpen that we call it where all the police cars are parked. There's a staff police officer in there uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And they always have a 24 hour guard here so you can feel safe. They're also recorded 24 hours a day, seven days a week on surveillance cameras. So okay. there's not extra, because right away I'm thinking, why should the taxpayers have to subsidize police protection uh -huh. for online purchases? Let me so, finish, Bill. Let me, all right, let me, all right. Let me finish. I'm all you know, I thought about agitated this. now. I, all right, I, I, thought, about, I thought about this. I thought about this, okay? Like, like I said, there are robberies that happen all the time. Just on Monday, there was an off-duty police officer. He went to go buy a car that he found on crisis, a BMW. Two yeah. guys was there to in meet him. In New York, him. right? In New York, yeah. Queens, New York. And two guys were there to meet him. And one of the guys pulled out a gun and kind of found out it was a pellet gun. The cop yeah. shot him. Yeah. And the, the guy later on died at the hospital, unfortunately, well, right? Don't pull a gun on a cop. Because the cop's not going to know what kind of, I mean, well, I mean, I mean the guy's cop, stupid for trying to right. kind of pull out a gun but anyway. But wait, but back to my question. Are you getting there? I'm getting there. I all got right, you, right? I'm still. Just hold on. I got you. All right. I'm with you. All right. So the safe, the safe transaction zones is the latest trend. Uh, PA, Florida, Connecticut, Georgia, and, and many others have caught on to this. This program is not costing the police department any extra money. Okay. So all, right. all you have is established camp. All they, all they you use are. that question. It sounds right. Like. Exactly. You made you work for it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah, I had to work for that answer. <laughs> okay. so. Come on. Now, now, Bill, I also thought about this when I, when I thought about you, right? You want to know who paid, for, who paid for the signs, right? Yeah, you know. You I do. Probably, you do want to know who well, paid I, for I, the signs. At first, I thought this was going to be a right. taxpayer <laughs> battle. Right. Yeah, you, you right. do want to know. Tell um, me who now, paid for what, the signs. So the, so the, and he told me this morning, he said, what they do is that, so if, say if you have a drug dealer, they have a cease fund. So you have a drug dealer and say they go on a, crate, a big bust and they find money or yeah. money was made from transactions. They take that money, put it inside it. You know what? This police chief wow. is, I got a new category because <laughs> he's not the capitalist of the week, but he is the taxpayer friend of the week. There you go. Yeah. Nice job, chief.